Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're grilling a miso and ginger marinated salmon with a soba noodle salad on a Memphis wood fire grill. So let's get cooking. The first thing that you need to do in order to make this flavorful dish is to get the miso and ginger marinade started. Start by slicing the green onion and add into a small bowl. Then you wanna add miso, soy sauce, honey, rice vinegar, and sesame oil. Finally, grate the ginger into the bowl and whisk together. So when the marinade is finished, you wanna take the salmon fillets, and these are some, some good thick ones. You wanna place those in a baking dish. Pour the marinade over the top and turn to coat. Then cover the bacon dish, put it in the refrigerator, and marinate for at least an hour. So while we're waiting for the salmon to marinate, it's now time to make the soba noodle salad. And soba means buckwheat in Japanese. And buckwheat noodles doesn't cook at all like you would Italian pasta or even glass noodles. And if you don't cook them right, they're gonna be gummy, they're gonna have an awful texture. So this is how you cook it right. The first thing that you wanna make sure that you have is a big enough pot so that the noodles can move around. Second, you don't wanna salt the water at all. Salt will actually make it just more gummy. The water is boiling, so it's time to throw in the soba noodles. These will cook pretty quickly, so about four to five minutes. Also continuously stir the noodles because this will help releasing the starch. So when the noodles are done after four or five minutes of simmering, you want to take them and move them into a cold bowl of water. This will help release all the starches and make for a wonderful texture. Then drain the soba noodles into a coolander and rinse them under some cold running water. Drain well and transfer to a large bowl. So the soba noodles are now ready. So the last step in order to make the soba noodle salad is to make the dressing. Start by mixing the sesame seeds, the vegetable oil, the toasted sesame oil, the honey and the soy sauce in a small bowl and start whisking. Then add sliced green onions and chopped cilantro. Mix well and then toss it in together with the soba noodles. So the salmon has now been marinating for over an hour, so it's time to get the grill going. And I've set the Memphis wood fire grill to 550 degrees grill mode. I'm using maple or pecan wood. And what I like to do when I grill fish is actually keep the grill at 550 degrees for about 15 minutes to make sure that I heat up the grate so the fish won't stick. What I also like to do is just oil the grate a little bit before I put the fish in. So you wanna place the salmon fillets on the grill and you wanna start skinless side down first so that they can get some really good grill marks on the hot grill while the fish is still firm. So close the grill lid and then cook for about two to three minutes on the first side, depending a little bit on how thick the fillets are. So use a metal spatula to carefully turn the fish onto the other side so it's now skin side down and grill for another two to four minutes depending on the thickness of the filet. You want the salmon to be a pork when ready. Oh wow, that looks really good. So that is how you grill a miso and ginger marinated salmon with a soba noodle salad on a Memphis wood fire grill. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to Memphis Grills YouTube channel or check out their website, www.memphisgrills for more recipes like this. And I think the only thing left for me to do is to try this uh, recipe and see what it tastes like. Mm. Salmon is cooked perfect, blends very nicely with all the Asian flavors. This is super delicious. I hope you try this at home and uh, happy grilling.